Flat pack furniture is a popular trend for convenience and style. It's generally affordable. You can buy it immediately, assemble and disassemble it at will. Among the flat pack furniture, chest of drawers is one of the most functional furniture pieces that suits your space and needs. In this video, we are going to introduce some handy tips for you to assemble the chest of drawers in a hassle-free way to save your time and money. Before you start, you're advised to use a white fabric that is big enough on the soft surface so the furniture doesn't get scratched or damaged during assembling. Make sure you have a plenty of room to work in. Check the packaging as it should give you the product dimensions plus the amount of space required to actually build the piece. It's important to read the manual instructions completely as it will save you time and frustration. Understand the sequence before you unpack the boxes. Lay all the parts out on the white fabric so you would know if there's any part missing. Check and make sure that all parts are correctly delivered without any damages. Search in the box thoroughly for the missing parts. Get all the tools ready. Have these essential tools on hand. A hammer, an electric drill, a screwdriver and an allen key. Also, if possible, get a helper. It's fine to work alone, but it will take a longer time to complete. It's easy to fix the minifix as long as you know the tips. As you will see, there are pre-drilled holes for you to insert the minifix screws. And the minifix casing should go into the specific pre-drilled holes and make sure the arrow on the casing points correctly to the direction of the holes. Tighten the minifix casing clockwise and lock the bolt in place. Slide the bottom drawer panel into the two dado joints in the side panels. Tighten the screws on both sides. Slides come in left and right sides. You can distinguish them by checking the end of each slide where there are marks CR or CL with the matching slide of DL or DR. The slides stamped CL and CR are installed on the cabinet while DL and DR are attached to the drawer. Make sure that the rail is aligned correctly. Draw runners have multiple holes for the screw. You need to make sure that the correct holes are lined up to the units, otherwise your drawers won't work properly. At the bottom of the chest cabinet, there are four L-shaped PVC legs at each corner to prevent scratches and noise from moving the chest cabinet. The foot base and the bottom panel should be aligned with wood dowels before tightening with screws through the specific holes. When you attach the side panels to the bottom part, make sure the grooves in the base and side panels line up before you tighten with the screws. You are now ready to fit the back panel. Lay the main unit at the face down position. Place one back panel onto the back of the main unit. Slide the PVC H rail and slot another back panel into the track of H rail. Measure from corner to corner diagonally to make sure that the back panels are perfectly balanced. Align them properly for nailing. Now, you are ready to mount the runners onto the inside of the drawer cabinet. After you are finished, you can keep the instructions at the back of your furniture so they are handy when you need them again in the future. And finally, make sure you secure chest of drawer to the wall with an anti-tip strap to make sure they won't topple over. We hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.